We're giving away hundreds of dollars of Revzilla gift cards. Stay to the end of the video to figure out how to enter and win. We'll see. We'll see. We're going way too fast. Chevron's not paying attention. Oh, it looks like he might have tapped the brick. Oh. Holy crap. You can easily get impaled on one of those sticks. Branches. All right, so we're going to be riding with our friends. Do you think Ego... Maybe ego. We're going to pass people on a solid white line. Should we be doing that? Nah, not really. But why should we not be doing it? Not because it's illegal or not because we're going to have legal consequences. And it says right safe. That's weird. I wonder if that's his name. It's because we have a turn coming up. So when we are passing right here, we're not prepped and ready for the turn. We're, we're trying to pass somebody. We're not trying to turn. We're trying to pass somebody. So where are your priorities? So there's that sharp turn to the left. You see the chevrons. Now we're going to have to swerve back into our lane to get to go this way. We're not prepped and ready. We're not doing slow look, press and roll. We're not doing what we're supposed to be doing. So he slams the brakes right there. There's that jostling, right? Smooth inputs. The jostling going into the bike. We're going forward. We're not committed to the turn. We're not prepped for the turn. We we're prepped for the passing. Our buddy passed. He's able to make the turn. Why was he able to do it? Because he did it before you, and now he was able to set up for the turn before you. You're riding late. You're riding. It's just too many problems. Ride your own ride is one of the biggest things here. So this is when we start to go off. Bye-bye, Honda. And we put our arms out. Imagine if this was the, just the edge of the cliff. Thankfully, it wasn't. Possibilities of a lot of injuries right there. So broken arm, broken collarbone, lacerations. In, getting impaled super lucky we got intersections coming up maybe side of the vehicle there it is side of the vehicle broken right arm five stitches under left eye driver was 20 years old leaving the liquor store unlicensed and uninsured driver was 20 years old leaving the liquor store unlicensed uninsured i don't care don't care about this part i care about this part the right arm five stitches under left eye how did we get stitches under the left eye were we wearing full gear I don't know. A lot of cruiser riders don't want to. I'm not saying he wasn't. You can still get injuries to your face uh, with a full face. But I'm trying to figure out how he got it here because there's nothing that covers the eye portion. So maybe he had the lid up. I'll give him the benefit. The lid up and something poked him in the face. Right here, what we see is we have natural indications that it's going to be an intersection. We have a sign saying, hey, watch out, intersection. We also have all the intersection stuff. So if we have an intersection, we should be going from yellow stage to orange stage. Orange stage, we're prepped and ready for anything. Now, what happens in intersections that we need to be prepped and ready? It's gonna be the left turners, pedestrians, mergers, and then also path of travel violations for anybody that wants to pull out in front of us. So that could be right turners or left turners. I don't wanna have to look for so many different factors and be concerned and, and, and do all these things. I'm just gonna go with my firefighter brain. I need color codes and shapes. I'm automatically, now that I know this, going to orange stage, that means I'm prepped and ready and I'm constantly looking for escape paths. Where am I going? That's all I care about. Once I get out of the intersection and it's safe to do so, I will be going back to yellow stage. So this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this person if they were stopped and ready to turn, but they're not. I'm looking at this person next and that person next over here. But the one that could get me the soonest is this one right here. Okay, the intersection looks kind of clear, so I'm good. Concerned about this one because I see that shape. I see that pattern. All right, roundabout, same thing. Intersections, be careful. He did head checks. Very good. Very good, doing his thing. Oh, what happened? Oh. Throttle cable screwed up. Oh, man. Hopefully he's okay. All right, so going through the intersection, he was doing his head checks, did everything great. That right there, did you hear that? That was a downshift. I believe that was a downshift. So what happens there, maybe he let out the clutch a little bit too quickly right around here. So that it, it did a really bad 
downshift and it caused that rear tire to slip a little bit. Who knows? It could have been something in the road, but now we're kind of set up wrong. So what happens when we're in a lower gear and then we give it too much throttle? Lower gear, you're typically more torque. So that low gear now gave it a ton of throttle, lost traction on that rear tire low sided. Hopefully it's well protected. It's got sliders on it. Hopefully it's not super damaged. Yeah, it wasn't smooth. That's the biggest thing on this one. It wasn't as smooth maneuvers or anything like that. His situation awareness was really good, but the fundamental of switching gears and brakes and throttle wasn't the greatest. And the only thing I could think of is that maybe he went from a smaller CC bike to the Yamaha R1 and he's not accustomed to the same 10% throttle, the same 10% brake. Because the 10% throttle on this is going to be a lot more than a 400 or 600. Get a feel for the dynamics. Get a feel for the throttle. And take it to a parking lot, play around a little bit. Don't push the limits of your new bike like you've been pushing limits of your old bike. Always figure out what things are, how things are with this new bike. And then when you get comfortable, take it out and do what you need to do. All right, watch out. A lot of rain on the road. Be careful. Yeah, slippery and wet. So just ride it nice and smooth. Uh-oh. So he says he's doing what I'm saying. Sometimes it just happens. You also want to trust your tires. So he's talking about the road is wet. He started feeling his tires walking when the corner. He's always taking the roundabout slow. If you're going into this thinking, okay, I gotta do, I gotta do all these things, I gotta do all these things, I gotta do all these things, all these things, you start to to now have a paralysis by analysis. You're starting to like, ooh, what do I do? What do I do? And you start doing the wrong things because you're thinking too much. Here's the thing: trust your tires. Your tires, if you've checked them, if they're in good shape, trust your tires. Your tires can handle the road. They're designed to handle the road. Oh, so, I actually had this one sent in. It's going to rear end. Oh, what do, you, what do you think happened? What do you think happened, guys? See, the last second he looked at the, the vehicle that just got hit. Modular helmet up doesn't do you any good when you're riding. Oh, that's a head injury. Of the damage his foot probably hit that the crash bar all right he fled the scene okay cool cool man you're on camera dude all right so it's pretty easy to see on this one what is it i always tell you guys to do be situation aware zoned in because at the last second if you hit something and you try to break it's not going to help you you need to see the hazards way ahead of time so you have options to actually do things so take a look at his head you can see the side his helmet's like this it's down it, it has a modular helmet so it's up it's not down for the chin bar so now it looks like three quarter he's got a white helmet he's looking to his right do you think he might be arguing with the person to his right this is also when it comes down to road rage i tell you guys to look forward and not engage in road rage because this kind of crap happens now we look look at it. Not looking. Let's go ahead and do slow-mo. Not looking. Not looking. Now we're looking. Now this is the moment we can start to perceive and react. Too close. No reaction whatsoever. No hands on the, on the front brake. Nothing, 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 nothing. Absolutely nothing. We didn't, we didn't even react. So full speed into it. Do you think his head might have hit the, the back windshield? His head hit. So that's why you wear gear, but man, spinal compression, big issues. I swear, do I tell you guys that you need to have good shoes? Have I ever said that your shoes fly off in a crash if they're not on you and they don't have good boots? This is why I have mid-calf boots. My boots won't fly off. So too fast in the corner, biker dressed for the slide and survived the ride. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, we're passing again right before a corner. We're not prepped and ready. So the guy behind passed at the right time. And there's the high risk, high skill. We did that for why? Why did we do that? 
Biker slid for over 200, 120 feet. Ooh, you could easily slice yourself up. I like his buddy that came by. I like his buddy that came by. That was really good on him. Rescue another rider. All right, so right here, what we're doing is we're riding in a group. We're going to be passing these vehicles. Okay, not the biggest of deals. The thing is, I wouldn't be passing right here because I need to set up for the next turn. So I like what this rider that crashed did right here. He waited. You wait, 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 wait. Now, you still don't want to do it. It's a double yellow. You couldn't see very well, but you know, you do you. My biggest thing is this. Why are we doing a wheelie? I, okay, it's not my thing. It's your thing. Great. Are you okay with the risks involved? This is one of them. Massive injuries, and then also your bike is destroyed. So this right here, that metal rod, that's not going to move for your body. You're going to wrap yourself around it or split yourself in half. Are you okay with that? So he slid for 120 feet. We talk about, you know, the abrasiveness of asphalt. It's what gives you the good traction on your tires. It's meant for tires. It's not meant for your body. So when you slide, you're going to rip flesh off. If you have full leathers, it's hoping to absorb a lot of that heat and that abrasion so that it doesn't transfer to your body, which is why he's going to recommend that you have a track suit. I recommend don't crash in the first place. Now, this is what I like about this rider that's showing up right here is that he's going to ask very pertinent questions. And I don't know if he has the training to utilize that information for a proper assessment, but he's not freaking out. He's not, you know, moving them. He's not doing some stupid stuff. So he's doing what he wants to do in terms of, I need to protect my buddy. My buddy's hurt. I care for my buddy. I don't care about his bike. I'm here. I'm going to ask some questions. And I'm going to call number one if I have to. Feel like anything's broken, nothing at all? Feel like anything's broken, nothing at all? He's not picking them up. He's not doing that stuff. The easiest thing for a normal person to understand is if something is broken. So, like, you start doing your own check. You're like, oh, my arm's broken. Okay, so that's easy to say. You're not going to be like, hey, man, I got tension pneumothorax. I can't really speak too much right now. That's not what's going to happen. If he says, my chest hurts, that's when you go through your assessment, through your skills. Be like, ooh possibly uh puncture a lung or you know hemothorax we get some blood filling up in the cavity Ooh, you know so let's be a little concerned but that's a good good start great start my advice hey they're asking for it my my advice is don't uh do wheelies out on the road don't let your ego take a hold of you especially if you're in a group ride don't pass on a double yellow especially around a blind corner you don't know what could be there and uh, the main thing here is really just don't wheelie unless you have the appropriate skill. And if everyone's going to be like, well, he did have the appropriate skill. Well, if he did, he wouldn't have done that. Simple as that. When I do slow speed stuff and I have to put my foot down because I felt like I lost balance, that means I didn't have the appropriate skill. If, you, if you're doing this and you do wheelie and all of a sudden you crash, it's not that he had the skill. It means he didn't have the skill or he wouldn't have crashed. Click the link in the description to enter to win hundreds of dollars in RevZilla gift cards. We're doing this every single month. So if you don't win right now, you can possibly win next month. But if you sign up as a tier one to tier four, you get my ebook for free too. Check it out. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Click, click, click. Link in description.